Okay. When I look at this, I just, I have to do something about her skin or complexion. It's kind of, you know, it's not perfect, right? Um, I mean, it's not horrible, but we want to go for the whole, the full-on beauty thing. So the, here's, here's a very kind of crazy approach to, uh, to doing this. So I'm going to kind of duplicate this layer. I'm going to invert it. So I, I do image, adjust, invert. So now it's exact opposite. I'm going to change the apply mode from normal to um, vivid light. Okay, this is really wacky and counterintuitive. Okay, they cancel each other out, so it's it's, it's inverted. But in this weird in vivid light mode, when they apply against each other, it just cancels out to to nothing. So now check this out. Okay, filter, um, I'm going to do a high pass. Now high pass we normally think of as a, a, a thing that we can use to sharpen, but because it's being applied to the inverted layer, it's, uh, it's softening, it's actually making it blue. So I, I'm going to try and pick a radius, a wide enough radius to get the blotchiness of the skin kind of smoothed out. I'm really only looking at, you know, the skin. I don't care what's happening in the eyes and any of that. And I'm looking for smooth skin, so it looks like, you know, here I'm 15 or 16. Okay. Now it gets weirder. All right, and I, I wish I could say I invented this technique. I actually don't know who invented it. I saw Katrina Eisman do this once, and it was like, you know. Um, and she didn't invent it. She got it from somebody else. And I wish I knew who did it because he's a genius. Okay. So now we've used high pass, and completely counterintuitively, we're now going to use Gaussian blur. And... Since we blurred it with a sharpening thing, we're going to kind of sharpen it with a blurring filter. So what I'm doing now is I want to increase the radius just enough to start seeing the skin texture. Okay? So it usually you want to start at like half the radius that you picked for the... For the um, you know, the, uh, the high pass, and then inch it down a little bit. So you get just the finest of the, the, the fine ten skin texture. And, uh, you know, I might really just kind of go like that. Okay. So here's the the, the normal skin. Here's the kind of smooth, and I, you know, I might actually go even smoother. So let me let me back up, go back to that, and and and, and redo the the, uh, the the Gaussian blur filter, and take it just a little far. It's hard, it's hard for me, you know, on, on my monitor it looks really a little bit different on this projector. And so, so the smaller we go here, the finer the texture that gets revealed. So we don't want the texture of the skin to be too jagged, but just enough to be convincing. And now um, I hide that with a black layer mask. If you hold down the Option or Alt key when you click on that Add Layer Mask icon at the bottom there. You get a black mask, and now I can paint with white in the foreground here to paint over the blemishes, but with skin texture. And it's actually her real skin texture that I'm using to smooth out.
And it's sort of like uh, it's lightening the dark moles uh, and and kind of evening out the, the complexion. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? And I, I learned this after the, the second edition of the skin book was published, so it's not in the skin book. Um, so very, very, uh, very uh, useful technique. And this, in fact, um, the retouching plugins actually use calculations uh, like this to get the skin smoothing stuff. But you don't actually have to buy those plugins. You can do it inside of Photoshop with this technique. Wow. Can you run them in the surface plugin? Huh? Can you run them in the surface plugin? I, you know, this works as long as the skin's not too bad. Because if you have to reconstruct the whole texture, I mean, you know, like it's just easier to wipe it all out and put an artificial texture in there. In this case, her, you know, she, it's not so bad. It's really kind of subtle defects and you know like blotchiness in the in the in the color of the skin, uh, and this is preserving her actual skin texture, but smoothing out the you know the kind of the rough color you know and the the, the larger blemishes. So um, it it doesn't work as well in every instance of you know uh, that you would need it for beauty retouching, but uh, it's 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 probably the least damaging approach to smoothing skin, and, and it's, it's really kind of cool. How about elderly skin? Do you think they yeah, go you know, or... in some cases, this you don't want to take out all the wrinkles, yeah. right? You make it look too weird. So you could use some combination of things, and this might come in handy to you know help preserve, you know, because the thing that looks bad is when you blur it out and it doesn't have any texture. It looks like plastic. It looks like those bad porno websites, you know, <laughs> where the, which I wouldn't know anything about. <laughs>